Hey everyone, this is Mass King JC and One Piece chapter 599 is out. It's manga time! One Piece chapter 599 titles title is the Nine Pirates, and uh, we have a we have a cover picture of Luffy. He's eating meat, but he's asleep, and he has snot coming out of his nose, so it's coming out like snot bubbles, bristles, like snot bubbles coming out of his nose. <laughs> looks really looks really silly. And he's eating meat, and also the sheep. There are sheep that like come out of these clouds and stuff, and they're like eating the meat while he's sleeping. And I even know I didn't even know sheep were carnivorous, but it doesn't matter. It turns out this uh, cover page is actually a request from someone in Japan. So this is new. Oldest, I think Oda's taking a fan request for what they want the cover page to be about, which is awesome because this is the first time he's doing this. So, I think it's a good idea, but let's get on to chapter. Okay, we get a little flashback to, um, to before Luffy went to Shop the Octopelo. We see him with Hancock, and, and she says that this is as far as it could take him, and, and, but, but, uh, people can't know that about Luffy and Hancock's relationship, so she puts on this awesome, must, no, fake nose and mustache. And you totally cannot tell it's her, because it's a, Amazing disguise, and Luffy's laughing like, "Ha ha! You don't need that." And you know, and uh, Hancock made and Hancock made Luffy like this huge ass fucking uh, backpack, which is full of, which is full of meat, uh, supplies, tissues, uh, bug bite ornaments, and stuff like that. And Lady and Lady Neon's like, "Make it lighter, cause it's like huge. It's got like a, it's got like a year's like it got like um." Three years supply of food in it, so I don't know how Luffy. I know Luffy's strong, but I don't think he can even carry that. And um, and uh, Hancock tells Luffy that he always has the Kuja powers to help him if he's ever in trouble. And she says, you know, not to say goodbye to him because you know, goodbye to him because she doesn't want him because you know she doesn't want him to say the word goodbye and stuff like that. And Luffy says, "I'm not marrying you, but I want to see you again." So he, because you know, he sa he says he never says goodbye to anyone, so he, he knows that he'll see her again. Hancock's like, oh, was that, was that a proposal?" And Leon's, and she's thinking that, and Leon's like, "No." <laughs> she, she's thinking it, and Leon's like, "I could read your mind," and the answer is. No. <laughs> uh, um, okay, we get back to the current time right now. We're after Luffy bumped into the imposter, Luffy, and Luffy, and the imposter is like, "You motherfucker! How dare you embarrass me in front of all these fucking people? You motherfucker! You better apologize to me. You know who I am? You know who? You know who I am? I got a forty million bear bounty berry. Wait a minute. I thought Luffy had three hundred million bounty berry." Wait, wait, 300 million berry bounty. <laughs> okay, I thought Luffy had 300 million berry bounty. So does that mean his, his bounty went up? About 100 million. Which is, which is awesome. His bounty, went, his bounty went up 100 million. I really think it should have gone up higher because, you know, not only is he the son of Dragon, but he also aided Whitebeard in the attack on Rainford. And he also knocked out Tenra Bidu, Bido, whatever the, whatever the fuck they call it. Anyway, anyway, uh, he tells Luffy to apologize and shit, and you know, you know he's irritated because you know what happened with him and what happened with Usopp and Nami electrocuting the fuck out of them earlier. So he's pissed off and he wants him to apologize. And Luffy's like, I don't have time to apologize to you. I'm sorry, but I gotta go. He's like, That's all I need to hear, motherfucker. Bam! He he fires his gun. Luffy's like. You did the wrong shit, motherfucker! Hockey blast! 
zoom, boom. For the first time we see Luffy controlling his hockey for the first time after time skip, and I am not disappointed at all. Luffy dodged that bullet. He could have let it bounce off of him, but I don't think he wanted people to know that it was him. So he just dodged it like. He dodged that shit and hockey blasts, and they all fell out, man. They weak. Of course they're weak, but they weak. They he knocked out all of them, and it was like, what the fuck did he just do? And Luffy just walks off all cool. He's like, it's like, fuck y'all, man. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> okay. And after the awesomeness, we get uh, we see uh, Robin. She found the sunny, the thousand sunny. And you can see it's all shiny, it's cold and stuff, and we see Frankie! Frankie with his with his crew cut and his huge ass arms, but he's still super Yeah! Super Frankie! Now I I was a little skeptical about Frankie's design because I got over the hair, his hair being cut off, but the arms, they look they're huge! His shoulders are like giant balls, giant giant balls and stuff, and they're like it's like an action figure arm stuff. It's huge too, but the way his arms look like, it looks like they could pop off. So I'm thinking that he might be able to change his arms or something like that. He might be able to change his arms to different forms and stuff, something more leisurely. But but you know, it's still it's still the same Frankie. He still has the same personality. It's like it's our super archaeologist, Nico Robin. And Rob and Rob is like, you haven't changed at all, Frankie. <laughs> he hasn't changed at all. I guess she didn't see the hair or the arms or any or this huge scar. It looks like a cola bottle. It looks like a cola bottle. And uh, Frankie, you know, he's chilling out. Even with those huge arms, he can still relax and drink this huge keg of cola. I, I bet it's cola. It's gotta be cola. And um, and R Robin talks to Frankie. Talks to Frankie about uh, Brooke's concert, and Frankie tells her that at, that Brooke became this huge, famous celebrity now, and he got all these thousands of fans who love him and such. And uh, he said that Brooke may not even become a return to the pirate life again. But we all know Brooke's coming back. We, we all know Brooke's coming back. He's gotta come back. He's Brooke. He's coming back. But hey, he's enjoying himself too. And Frankie's like, you know. And uh, Robin notices. No, Frankie's like he he set up. He checked the maintenance on the ship. Everything's one hundred percent okay. And he also added new weapons. Can't wait to see those. And Robin notices the coding. It's like all jelly like and stuff like that. And so everyone's on the island. The only person to meet up with everyone is Luffy. So they're still waiting. And we go back to the imposter straw hats. They just wake up after being knocked out by Luffy. They're like. What just happened? And, and and we see the fake Sanji and fake Zoro come over to the fake Luffy and like and like and like and like we have, we have big problems, boss. Uh, uh, Coco, I mean uh, Nico Robin, yeah, not Nico Robin that suit. Nico Robin got kidnapped. It's the fake Nico Robin got kidnapped. And Chopper's there. He's like Luffy, Luffy, you look so different, but not Robin got kidnapped. Duh. And, and uh, and the fake Luffy doesn't even notice doesn't even notice Chopper. He's like he's like like he's like he's like no fucker fucker. All right, we just get more crew members. Fucker. We have to go after this long nosed motherfucker, this long haired motherfucker, and this weird motherfucker who knocked us out because he's insanely strong and shit like that. And Chopper's like Luffy, how could you? Don't you care about Rob anymore? He's like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> And Chopper goes running off like I'll save you, Robin. Uh, and Chop and I, I don't know about Chopper. He's not retarded or anything. He just it's just comic relief, you know. I mean, this is a Chop. I mean, back in this lobby, Chopper got Chopper. David know Soge King was Usopp, so I'm not surprised at what's going on here. So uh, we see Sanji. He's at he's at this uh, fisherman's place, you know, trying to get some. Uh, Trying to get some uh, s some fish, fish supplies, stuff like that. And, uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. I skipped the important part. I skipped the important part. No, no. I'll get back to the Sanji and stuff, but I skipped the important part. Um, it was after Chopper goes out to find Robin. Um, 
the Navy, you know, is gathering up his forces because they hear that destroyed pirates are on Saudi, Archip Saudi Archipelago, and they're trying to get there, you know, to capture them, apprehend them. And then we see Setamaru, who hasn't changed at all. He's still a fat bastard, but he got a huge cloak now. But he's still a fat ass bastard with a huge ass axe. And um, Setamaru is like he he's gonna go out there and find and get the straw hats because he knew that they would return to the island, you know. So so he's gonna bring like two of the pacifistas with him to take to help to take down the straw hats. So I can't wait to see what happens next. I hope hopefully Luffy versus Setomaru rematch of the century rematch is on. Luffy know Luffy can, can control his haki, and we all know uh, we all know Setomaru uses haki too. So it's gonna be a haki battle. Luffy versus Setomaru. I hope it's gonna be epic. So we'll see what happens then. And now back to Sanji and the fisherman. So Sanji goes to get some fish and he runs into and he asks the fisherman, uh, hey, where's the fish? He's like it's like it's like fuck the fish, man, you got bad news. This guy, right? This green haired motherfucker came up came and asked asked me if he wanted to go fishing and he said that he uh and he, and he said, uh sure you can go on one of my boats but then he went into the wrong boat and that boat was coded and was headed for Fishman Island and it went on the water already, so he's probably drowned. And so I was like, okay. <laughs> and also he had one eye. It's like, okay. And he's like, oh, he's like, oh, this is bad. I wonder if he's all right. <laughs> and Sanji and Sanji puts two and two together. Like, oh, that idiot swordsman. What's he got himself into now? And then we see bubbles come in the water. And like, and they're, and they're like, what's that? And this ship pops up, split in half. This giant galleon ship. Pops up the water. It's cut in half, and we all know who cut it in half. And also, I want to take a point to uh, say that this is reminiscent to the Bratia arc, where Mihawk cut Don Creek's uh, pirate ship in half. So this is older, like you know, referencing back to that point in the story, to show the similarities between uh, Zoro and Mihawk. So. Um, Yeah, so, um, so, uh, so we see the pirate ship come back up out of the water, and all the guys on there, and there's one pirate guy who's, like, who's on the ship, he's like, You asshole! How dare you! Our dreams are the new world! How could you? And Zoro, looking all badass and shit, he's like, Blame Faith for what has happened to you. It was mis it was misfortune, a quirk of fate that brought me and Angel Death onto your ship. And I'm like, Whoa, Zoro, you're talking a lot like Mihawk now. Are you taking on Mihawk's personality or something? Because you so I still don't care if you took on Mihawk's personality, but it's still badass though. He's got his he got his sword and stuff. He got his sword unsealed, he's put it back in. And Sanji he's looking he's like unimpressed, he's like, Oh, I knew he was okay. <laughs> But you know, we all know Sanji was impressed by that. And Zoro put his sword back in, he's got his one eye, so he's like, I was on the wrong ship. So, yeah, so that that's the end of the chapter. So all the straw hats have appeared so far after the time skip, and we all, and I want to bet, I want to bet that the next chapter, chapter 600, is the big reunion chapter. Hopefully, big reunion chapter. So, um, you know, I hear people complain about, oh, Zoro's missing an eye. I mean, I will give the scar, but he lost his eye. Like, sh shut up, all right? Zoro, uh, he probably, he, he most likely lost it in training with Mihawk, all right? I mean, it's not like he's going to be, he's not going to, he's going to be handicapped because he's missing an eye or anything. He's still going to be the same old Zoro as before. And also, uh, I think I heard once, uh, there's just like this ancient Japanese, uh, uh, person, uh, ancient Japanese warrior, samurai guy, and I hope I get the name right, uh, Date Masamune, was like a one-eyed samurai, and he used multiple swords, he was called like the one-eyed dragon, so I think Oda may be referencing Zoro to him a little bit, that's what I think, but at the end of the chapter, and next week is the big 600, chapter 600, Hopefully the reunion, but we'll see you next week. So until next time, this is Master King JC.
and keep on keeping on.